today let us see sexual reproduction in flowering plants who is the father of indian plant embryology professor p maheshwari is known as father of indian plant embryology he wrote a book the name of the book an introduction to the embryology of angiosperm sure what is meant by floriculture it's a science of cultivation breeding and marketing flowers okay next one capsella capsella is considered as a typical angiosperm why it is said to be a typical angiosperm because capsella possesses all the angiospermic characters let us see the characters of capsella it's a annual plant and it grow as a weed the main plant body of capsella is known as sporophyte it's a diploid in condition and the plant body sporophyte is differentiated into root stem and leaves capsella is heterosporous what is meant by hetero two different sporous spores so these produce two types of spores male spores and female spores male spore that is microspore female spore megaspores that's all about so capsella possesses all the angiospermic characters so it is said to be a typical angiosperm next we see the structure of flower flower is a modified shoot it's very important flower is a modified shoot flower is a modified shoot now let us see the structure of flower you see this picture the stalk of the flower is called pedicel stalk of the flower is called pedicel the tip of the pedicel is flattened and become dome shaped that is called as thalamus the stalk of the flower is called as pedicel the tip of the pedicel is flattened and dome shaped and it is called as what thalamus the thalamus is a tip type of modified stem thalamus is a type of modified stems on which nodes and internodes are present on which nodes and internodes are present in the thalamus nodes are very close to each other so because of that internodes are small or highly reduced i'll repeat again in thalamus nodes and internodes are present but nodes in the thalamus are very close to each other and uh, because of that internodes are reduced or highly absent now in the uh, floral parts arises in the thalamus see you can see the floral parts the first floral part that is calyx which is present in the first node it arises in the first node then sepal uh, sorry corolla second node andrisium third node then gynesium in fourth node in some plants length of internode increases while explaining the structure of flower i said nodes are very close to each other because of that what is reduced or uh, uh, absent that is internodes are absent I, reduced i said but in some plants the length of internode increases if the length of internode increases between calyx and corolla it is called as anthophore example silene and dianthus if length of internode increases between corolla and andrisium it is known as androphore example passiflora if length of internode increases between andrisium and gynesium it is known as gynophore example capparis then what is gynandrophore both androphore and gynophore are found in the same plant that is called as gynandrophore example gynandropsis pantaphila and cleo gynandra so far we have seen the structure of a flower on the basis of above example it is proved that flower is a modified shoot next we have we can see monocarpic and polycarpic what is monocarpic flowering and fruiting takes place only once in its life span that is called as monocarpic example annuals and biennials what is polycarpic flowering and fruiting takes place many times in its life span that is called as polycarpic example 
perennials even though some of the plants are perennials they produce flowers and fruitning only once example bamboo century plant i gave americana even though it is perennial they are said to be monocarpic questions may be asked bamboo is a monocarpic and strobilus kuntiana nila kurunji is also monocarpic let us see the three phases in sexual reproduction of flowering plants first one is pre fertilization in pre fertilization we will see the structure and events see after vegetative phase that is juvenile phase in plant is known as vegetative phase I already have explained after vegetative phase due to any there is a initiation of several hormones and also structural changes takes place and forms floral primordium and forms what floral primordium when the floral primordium is formed then the plants shift from vegetative phase to reproductive phase next we'll see male reproductive wall that is andresium let us see the structure of anther male reproductive organ of the plant is called as andresium and the unit of andresium is stamen stamen is otherwise also known as microsporophyll if we see a typical stamen it has two parts a long thin structure called as filament this filament joins the, the this filament joins the stamen to the thalamus again i'll repeat this filament joins the stamen to the thalamus okay then at the free end of filament the free end of the filament what is present anther is present this anther and filament are joined together by means of a tissue called connective by means of a tissue connective and the con very important connective contains vascular tissue very important one is connective contain what vascular tissue and the main part of the stamen is anther this is the main part of the each anther is bilobed in structure each anther is bilobed in structure and each anth each lobe has two theca each lobe has two theca and it is called as dithecus it is called as dithecus then each lobe has two microsporangia here two lobes are there so totally four microsporangia so it is tetrasporangiate it is tetrasporangiate each microsporangia develops into pollen sac each microsporangia develops into pollen sac and pollen grains are formed inside the pollen sac how it is formed the pollen grains through meiotic division of which cell pollen mother cells of which cells pollen mother cells already we have seen about capsella capsella is the member of cruciferae or brassiaceae it is dithecus and tetrasporangiate malvaceae is monothecus and bisporangiate malvaceae is monothecus and bisporangiate 